Hey, this is Danny Clinch, and uh, I'm excited about the Transparent Tuesdays uh, event we have tonight with Tara Dente doing a Radiohead song. Her version is incredible. I'm super excited about it. First off, though, I want to uh, say that after a lot of discussion uh, and consideration and out of an abundance of caution, uh, with everybody's safety in mind, we are going to postpone the clinch crates uh, that we had coming up this weekend. We're going to try to get some prints up online on a Shopify. Uh, just watch the social media and you'll see where we're going with that. Uh, just stay tuned to the social media um, and everybody just please uh, stay safe. Uh, I'm going to answer a few questions here. It's not the same old, same old questions, which is great. And I'm going to pick a couple of them and, and answer them for you. Oh, I like this. Uh, this came from Ricky. And it said, how many photos do you take of a subject uh, before you get the one that you love? And um, I think that's a great question because every situation is different. Sometimes you have to really shoot a lot and uh, uh, <clears throat> do a lot of production, um, get as many frames as you can until you work into that comfortable moment and the real you know, gotcha moment. Uh, but sometimes they come in, in a one-off. You could be standing somewhere and this beautiful moment happens in front of you. And if you carry your uh, camera around all the time like I do, you just raise it up and you grab it. So um, it could be, it could be uh, either way, to be honest. This question is from Larry Strauss. And the question is, um, is there someone there that you haven't photographed that you had wished you had the opportunity to photograph? I would say in a session to sit down, have some time with them and direct them. Uh, I really wish I had had the opportunity to photograph prints. Felt like it was gonna happen and then um, sadly it didn't. Uh, but that would be one that I think I would really have enjoyed for sure. <laughs> Oh, here's one. Uh, Danny Clinch on the harmonica, live at the Pantages Theater 2006 with the Foo Fighters. Uh, how long have I been playing harmonica? That came from Jay. And I've been playing for probably 25, 30 years. I made the, the concert film Skin and Bones with the Foo Fighters. I had played on another round off of uh, In Your Honor record. I just happened to be there photographing and Dave said to me, did you bring your harps? I said, yeah, I got some in the car. And he said, okay, I got a track. I, I haven't even put the vocals down, but why don't you play on it and see what you can get? I said, all right. And I did. And uh, it was it was incredible, um, you know, to have that opportunity. And then um, when I was directing the, uh, the DVD at uh, Pantages, um, Dave was like, you're coming out, right? And I was like, sure, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be directing over here. And, uh, and he, once I came out, of course, he, uh, he kind of busted my chops about playing and directing at the same time. But, but isn't that the way uh, Dave Grohl is? <laughs> uh, what are some of your techniques uh, to make people comfortable when you're making photographs of them? You know, I just try to treat people uh, the way I would like to be treated. I try to be relaxed, uh, you know, no drama. And I like to put on some good music. And I feel like um, putting on good music is a way to relax people especially musicians. And uh, a lot of times also I'll put an instrument in their hand and that tends to uh, change their posture, gets them relaxed and, and uh, it's a great way to, uh, to relax a musician is to put an instrument in their hand. <laughs> and I'm also not afraid of uh, having people around the set to distract people. I like that because um, it gets them to relax and forget they're being photographed for a brief moment. And all you need is that one brief moment. Sergio mentioned Jim Marshall, who was a hero of mine and a hero of Sergio's, and asked uh, what he could do to realize his dream of photography in the music industry. And, you know, it's like anything. It's relationships and it's getting out there and doing it. You know, you just got to get out there and go get it. You, you can't uh, sit on your couch and um, uh, do nothing. You have to dive in and you have to create relationships, not only with the musicians, but the people that are around them. And I've found that that's been a great asset to me. I like this one here. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I'm gonna go with the horse-sized duck because, you know, I play them some music, maybe some James Brown. We'd probably start dancing. We'd probably start talking. We'd be getting along. He'd forget about kicking my ass. and Just be a great time hanging out with the huge duck. Yeah. Oh, I really like this one. This is from Steve from the UK. Uh, he said, Danny, after uh, seeing Springsteen on Broadway twice, 
I bought your uh, portrait of him backstage and I'm interested in what type of camera you used and uh, the f-stop and shutter speed and all those sort of things. Um, he said it, uh, he has it framed and it takes a pride of place in his music room in the Liverpool uh, in the UK. Um, and uh, thanks, Phil. Uh, I, 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 there's a gr really good story about that, actually. And that is that Bruce really wanted the, um, the room to be entirely quiet. He didn't want to hear any cameras at all. Uh, when he was uh, doing his show and of course I didn't want to get in the way of him or the audience enjoying the show and I sourced out um, the Leica SL camera that has an electronic shutter and it's completely and utterly silent and I brought it uh, with me backstage and I showed it to Bruce and I said hey uh, I got the perfect camera for this gig and I, I said listen to this and I took a couple of photos of him and he was like yeah well are you going to take a photo? And I said, uh, yeah, it just took three. <laughs> and this thing is completely silent. And he just started laughing. And I, and I said, uh, and you know what? While, uh, while I have you here, let me uh, get a couple of photographs of you. And that's when I took that photograph uh, with that camera. And so if you look closely in that photograph, you can see me in the mirror in the reflection uh, with that camera. Uh, so there's a lot of storytelling going on in that photograph. Okay, this next question. What is your favorite camera setup for street shots? Uh, I like the um, Leica, the M. Uh, I carry it around all the time with a 35 millimeter lens, and uh, it's just really um, discreet and quiet. Uh, and I'm just so used to the rangefinder focus. Um, I just really love that camera. And then here's one. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up with this. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Asbury Park? Uh, you know, uh, it's the Jersey Shore. It's uh, the music is incredible. The art, the surfing. Um, it really is just a, uh, a very diverse um, city, and for that reason, I just really appreciate it. Thank you for all the questions. I appreciate it, and uh, I look forward to the next round. So here we go with um, Transparent Tuesdays. Welcome to Transparent Gallery. I'm Danny Clinch, and we are in Asbury Park. And we've come up with an idea to do a couple of episodes that we're gonna call Locals and Icons. And so we're asking a bunch of the local musicians that we know, folks who've come here and hung out with us and played music with us on the stage here, to come in and pick out a photograph they love of an artist that they love, and we would have a discussion about it. I would talk about what the assignment was maybe and the good story behind it. And they'll talk about how that artist has inspired them and what they love about them. And then they're gonna perform a song, a cover song by that artist. So it's gonna be really exciting. We have a great bunch of people that are gonna contribute and we appreciate you coming out. Thank you very much. Welcome to this episode of Locals and Icons uh, from Asbury Park at the Transparent Gallery. And we have our guest, Tara Dente, here. And uh, this photograph is of Radiohead. This is the one we chose to talk about. And I took this photograph uh, on the ferry on the way over from New York City to their show uh, at Liberty State Park, which is really kind of an epic show. Um, they did two nights there. and. We, uh, we ended up riding over with them uh, on the ferry, and I asked Tom, as we were coming through uh, Lower Manhattan, if I could jump back there and get a portrait of the band. So we got everybody together and, uh, and, and waited for this moment as we were going by. And of course, it was taken on August 16th of 2001, and a month later, the uh, World Trade Centers went down. And so it's uh, interesting um, you know, moment in history for me, as well as a, a photograph I love. And I took it with my Leica, which um, is one of my favorite cameras. And uh, so I know that you and I decided on this photograph together to talk about. And so I was wondering if you could tell us, uh, you know, what this band means to you. And sure. Yeah. So. Uh, right about the time that I was commuting to Kane, I was going to school and I uh, had a lot of time to listen to music in the car and, and someone showed me In Rainbows, and which is um, 
a later one of theirs. So that's what I started with. And in Rainbow is totally showed me that you can sort of break all the rules and form new rules and do whatever you want. And uh, Reckoner is one of my, my favorite songs from that album. Um, but uh, OK Computer was the next one that I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. And uh, the song that I'm going to be playing, The Tourist, is on that album. And uh, I had also heard Sarah Jerose cover that song like on NPR, I don't know, eight years ago or something. And it, that also showed me that you could do whatever you want. Because right. here's this, you know, this person with this soft, beautiful voice. And she's, you know, it's, um, I think that Radiohead is on a path all their own. And Tom York is. And, you know, and I don't think that they've compromised. I don't know what that would even look like for them. But I know that they've just done them. And they've held true to, to what they do. So um, Radiohead's really special. And I hope to see them live one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as artists, we always appreciate the people who are pushing the envelope and yes. taking their own path. Well, um, I know that you are going to do this song with Nicole Scorso. Scorso. <laughs> Nicole Scorso. Scorsone. Uh -huh. She's going to join us, and this is going to be epic. Mm -hmm. 